Welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 8. Today we're going to be talking about some interesting topics, but with a twist. So, this week I am super busy, and I haven't been able to upload any videos, and so tomorrow night you're going to hear someone else record my Flash review, but it's going to be up on the channel as usual, same format and everything, but it's just not going to be me but it will be on the DCTV show, and same thing for tonight's video, so please be sure to go ahead and enjoy the video, and also subscribe to Flash First, who is covering for me, so please go ahead and enjoy the video, and stick around to the end. Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash, and we have a new synopsis release for The Flash Season 8 Episode 16, titled The Curious Case of Bartholomew Allen, and yes, if I got you with the accent, then, well, it's a W, I don't know if I nailed it, but yeah, if not, then it's an L for me, but yeah, you guys would have realized, wait a second, this doesn't sound like the DC TV show. So, who is this guy that sabotaged Ben's channel? And you guys would be right by assuming that. So, yeah, I am pretty much a leveled up DC TV show, aka Flashverse, and I will be covering for Ben for the week, I believe, as he is busy doing some stuff related to, like, filming. So, he is quite busy, and I'm just filling in for him. So yeah, you guys will get a bunch of leveled up DC TV show content for the week and you guys will love the content so much that when Ben returns, you guys would be begging for the leveled up DC TV show to do the videos from now on. But yeah, also adding on to the synopsis, we do of course have not really a teaser, but we know of a character that will be in this episode as well. So we will theorize about what this all means for this episode. Now before I get into the synopsis, I do want to explain what exactly is going on in terms of the next couple of episodes of The Flash, as it is linked to the episode that we'll be breaking down in today's video. So yeah, of course we have wrapped up the Deathstorm arc, aka graphic novel number 6, which is episodes 8 to 13, and of course this does leave people wondering what is going to happen in next week's episode, as well as the remainder of the season, saying that Deathstorm has already been defeated. So, as you guys can see from this tweet Eric Wallace put up, graphic novel number 6 is complete, and that is from episodes 8 to 13 equals Death Revisited, but how can our devastated Team Flash move forward? Find out next week in a coda to our Deathstorm storyline, the first in a series of interlude episodes, that build towards graphic novel number 7 and our epic season 8 finale. So pretty much episode 14 will not entirely be an interlude episode, it is an interlude episode but it's more as like a fallout for episode 13 aka like Frost's death mainly and also just wrapping up this Deathstorm stuff in general. Although Deathstorm is fully defeated, they're just fully wrapping up this storyline if you will. So don't expect this episode to be big or anything like that, it's just a Fallout episode. So like in simple words, what I could think of pretty much is like the season 6 premiere of Arrow. So we had that big Lian Yu explosion and then of course season 6 episode 1 is mainly just dealing with the fallout of that explosion from Lian Yu. Or as well, um, Crisis on Infinite Earths part 5, it's mainly like that. But of course, without Deathstorm in it. But yeah, then after episode 14, we do have another set of interlude episodes. Episodes 15, 16, and 17. Episode 15 is of course the Into the Still Force episode. Episode 16 will be the episode we'll be talking about in just a second. And it will be an episode centered around Barry. Episode 17 is going to be an Allegro episode. And then episodes 18, 19, and 20 will be graphic novel number 7. And of course, Three episodes for a graphic novel does not really make too much sense, but I think that these next set of interludes will essentially be a segue into the next graphic novel, so they will very briefly be linked together, and I will explain why in this video, as it does kind of link with this episode that we're going to talk about as well. But yeah, if you guys go on to enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel so you are aware of more Arrowverse content coming your way. 
Okay, so breaking down the synopsis. So the synopsis for this episode kicks off as followed. Katie Lots direct, the Flash gets blasted with a shockwave forcing his body to age prematurely. So yeah, quite a short synopsis to that what we would normally get in a synopsis, meaning that whenever a synopsis is short, that means that big things will be happening during this episode and there will be lots of spoilers. And they don't want to of course spoil too much, which is why the synopsis is short. Now of course this episode is directed by Katie Lott, who does play Sarah Lance on Legends of Tomorrow. But this episode is pretty much a nod to a film called The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, where over here there is a baby growing in pretty much reverse order, that's the, the simplest way I could explain it. So it's a baby born as an old man, like it looks like an old man but it's a baby, and as it grows, it gets younger physically. But over here in the case of The Curious Case of Bartholomew Allen, he is just aging prematurely so he's normal Barry Allen but because of the shockwave he is aging. Now in regards to what could be causing this to Barry of course it could be a new metahuman that they're going to introduce in this episode. Um, it just releases something which hits Barry and Barry begins to age. Of course one thing we know for a fact is that whoever this villain is or whatever is causing this it is something related to time hence why it's causing Barry to age. It could potentially be a leveled up Turtle 2.0, we could potentially have her returning in this episode and that was of course from The Flash Season 6 because she was able to age people using her powers and of course she did have temporal powers as well. Of course another option could be the negative still force doing this which could actually make sense considering that during Armageddon they have established that a negative still force does actually exist but they have never done anything with it yet, besides Don messing with it. Of course, there is a chance that we will eventually be seeing the negative still force during Iris' time sickness storyline. Maybe it is what's causing Iris' time sickness. But yeah, of course, bringing in the negative still force and making it responsible for it doing this to Barry is a possibility as well. Now, one thing we know going into this episode is that Tom Kavanagh was on set. So this either means two things, either he is playing Timeless Wells and um, since he is a character related to temporal stuff, Barry goes to him for help as he is aging quite rapidly so they could of course try and find a solution and of course Timeless Wells could try and help him out given that his powers are time related. Or secondly, this could be Eobard Don's return. We do know that Eobard Don is meant to have a big role for the back half of the season Meaning, saying that Kavanaugh was on set for this episode, this could also lead to the return of Ia Barton, aka the Reverse Flash. Of course, last time we saw Ia Barton, he was taken away from his speed from the hands of our Scarlet Speedster, and then he was sent to Argus to be locked up. So this could be us seeing Thon break out of prison, maybe even get his speed back. We do know that it was of course Ia Barton who tinkered with the negative still force to change the timeline and create Armageddon. So if they do bring in the negative still force once again, maybe what they could do over here is that whatever is causing Barry to age is actually the negative still force itself. And Team Flash do not know how to stop this from being an issue. Of course, Dion wouldn't know either because it's the negative still force, it has nothing to do with the still force. Whether they work the same, I don't know about that. Um, if Timeless Wells in the ep is in the episode as well, then maybe he might not know how to stop it as well. But the one who messed with the negative still force in the first place, Ia Barton, might have a clue on how it works. So what if Thon could use this as some sort of a bargaining chip to somehow get his speed back and of course, like help him break out of prison. So what if he says, okay Barry, I'm gonna save you, but you're gonna help get my speed back or something like that. I don't know how far-fetched that theory is, but again, it is a possibility. Now, although having Timeless Wells there does make sense considering the nature of the episode, I personally think that this will be Ia Barton because if you really think about it, through set photos, we know for sure that the main villain for the final graphic novel is going to be the Reverse Flash. And, and of course that is going by how many times he's appeared on set. He was on set filming for episode 19 
and 20, so he will most probably be there for episode 18 as well. And of course, those are the last three episodes of the season, and it is the final graphic novel of the season as well. But also, as I said during the start of this video, three episodes for a graphic novel, it's too small. So clearly they have to set something up for the return of Ia Barton, and I think that this is why episode 16 is going to be when Ia Barton returns and breaks out of prison, maybe even gets his speed back, and then of course becomes the main villain from episode 18 onwards. Now one thing which would be really cool to see during this episode is when we see Barry aging prematurely, it would be really cool to get that rebirth old man Barry Allen flash in there somewhere. So have him like suited up as an old man, that would be really really sick to see. And we all know that Eric Willis loves the flash rebirth, so that could also be a possibility as well. But yeah guys, thanks for watching. If you guys have enjoyed the video, please give a like and subscribe. Be sure to tell me in the comment section down below what you guys think is going to happen with Barry over here. Do you guys think that it's Eobard Don doing this? Do you guys think it's the negative steel force? Whatever you think it is, I'm interested to see in the comment section down below. So be sure to share your thoughts and theories down there and I'll be sure to have a look. And also I'm interested to know what is your most anticipated episode going into these next few episodes of The Flash Season 8 as well. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. I see red.